Thank you, Mr. Levin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeff Hermusis, and I'm president, China and Japan, for Tanberg. I'm honored to be invited here to speak at this very important event to explore the role technology plays in the effort to address global, China, global climate change issues. This is an issue that's very dear to all of our hearts. First of all, I'd like to give a brief introduction to our company. Tanberg develops telepresence, high-definition video conferencing, and mobile video solutions. We are co-headquartered in Norway in the United States, and we work with a wide variety of enterprises, as well as government, education, and medical customers in over 90 countries. As a company with deep Norwegian roots, we've always had a very high awareness of environmental issues. These days, it seems as if being green is on the cover of every magazine, on every news program, and the subject of countless speeches around the world. Maybe, maybe you've noticed there has been an interesting shift in the coverage of the green issue. We started seeing stories on envir environmental audits and action plans to cut emissions being widely publicized. Having a vision around environmental responsibility seems to be expected of every major company these days, and Tanberg certainly is no exception. Last month, we made a public pledge to reduce, by 2009, our carbon footprint due to air travel by 10% per employee and our energy use per square foot of office space by 10%. To ensure these commitments are met, we have set up a cross-functional team of experts in research and development, operations, facilities, and marketing. The reduction in travel will be primarily through the use of our own video conferencing technology. This is what we see as the green adopts, adoption curve. Niche companies. When being green stems from the personal convictions of a few leaders, you have a handful of committed companies starting this movement. They are the ones willing to bear the brunt of what traditionally has been more expensive solutions. Mainstream companies. As we see increasing returns from going green, we see more companies joining the movement. When the price of green materials reaches the levels of non-green alternatives and a company is able to find new ways to actually reduce costs, you see more companies investing. I think many companies are at this stage today we have overcome the fear that green needs to equal expensive, and we are expecting a tangible savings. And then there are the forward-thinking companies. What's the next jump? How to mobilize more corporations to take a leap forward going green by demonstrating the difference it can make, not just to cost, but to an organization's productivity and long-term competitive advantage. There are specific technologies that can help bridge the gap between mainstream companies and forward-looking companies and move us along the green adoption curve. If we are not already on this curve, let's get on this curve. If we are already on it, let's try to move to the next step. The essential thing is that we all take some kind of action now. Tanberg recently teamed up with research firm Ipsos Mori to measure global attitudes towards climate change in 15 countries. The survey is one of the largest global pro survey projects into consumer attitudes towards climate change and its impact on corporate brands that has been conducted to date worldwide. In particular, we examined how companies' green efforts are perceived by both their customers and their employees. I'd like to share some of, some of these results with you to show how we can demonstrate the concrete benefits of environmental actions for business. First, being green impacts a company's brand. This study found that over half of the respondents prefer to purchase goods and services from an organization that is considered environmentally responsible. In addition, 80% of the workers worldwide prefer to work for an organization that is green. What does that mean for competitive advantage? It means better access to talent when you're hiring, better staff retention, and a much higher employee engagement. 
It was encouraging to us that this survey found that about one-fifth of the respondents thought that travel reduction was the number one thing that their organization could do to address climate change. The results of this show of, of the survey show that being green is about being much more than a good corporate citizen. It is a competitive advantage for companies that are willing to embrace the necessary changes to become more environmentally friendly. However, I believe that most immediate and effective changes that are those that enable businesses to be environmentally responsible as well as raise their competitive game. When Tanberg debuted its first video system in 1989, we did not think of an environmental or green technology. We viewed it as a tool to enhance business productivity. Over the past few years, and particularly the last year, as momentum has gained for the green movement, many of our customers are starting to talk, are starting to talk to us about measuring the impact that our product has on their particular carbon footprint. This is because for our customers, travel reduction is a major part of their comprehensive environmental action plan. Video conferencing offers many benefits. First of all, the average customer reduces unnecessary meeting travel by 30%. Good green reputation attracts and also empowers employees. Cost reduction. Average customer reduces travel costs by more than 30%. Most customers also realize an ROI within one year. And productivity gains are throughout the organization. I'd like to give you an example of how this works for one of our customers. Vodafone, the telecoms giant, has a company-wide travel reduction philosophy. They require that every employee use an online booking system for all flights and justify why they are meeting, why any meeting travel cannot be replaced by, one, by using one of their 24 lounges, video lounges, and over 200 units they, that they have in 14 countries around the world. As a result, Vodafone has eliminated 13,500 flights per year since committing to video conferencing as an essential business tool. This elimination of air travel has helped Vodafone reduce its emissions by over 5,500 tons annually. As Vodafone has measured, it is not just the actual flights that take away from your productivity, but it's the travel to and from the airport, the wonderful security lines that we all have to put up with, the baggage delays, etc. And it's not just the price of the flight that's costly. Much of the time spent traveling is time spent being unproductive, particularly for consultants, lawyers, accountants, salespeople, anyone for whom time is money. If there is anything that climate change can show us is that we are all global citizens. To make an impact, we need to take action and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The longer we wait, the more difficult it's going to be. The point is, let's try and get starting now. Thank you very much.